What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of how to convert an image to grayscale in Python using OpenCV. So like some of my previous OpenCV, OpenCV videos, I basically have this exact setup here where we're reading in our thumbnail that's in my current folder um, and then we're going to read it in and then we're going to show it and then this wait key again will basically just wait till we hit a button and then it'll exit, right? So if I go ahead and run that, you'll see that this is the video that we're working with. It's just an old thumbnail from an old video that I have, and we're gonna convert this image to grayscale. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So converting an image to grayscale in Python with OpenCV is actually pretty simple. And that's because OpenCV has done a lot of the work for us with a function call. And so what we can do is just below this, we'll say, um, we'll use a function um, within the, the CV2 package, CV2 dot, and then it's called the CVT color pack, uh, function. So with this, it's going to expect in, you know, it has some default values, but it basically it's going to expect in um, the source, you know, image or the source mat-like object, which in our case is going to be IMG, and then it expects a code. Now this code is basically a list of color codes that you can uh, give OpenCV, and this is kind of where I want to take a quick pause and say, like, as a reminder, um, OpenCV when you use IM read, what happens is is it reads it in as BGR um, rather than RGB. That's just how OpenCV is. However, one thing that I was kind of been learning recently is that it's very consistent with um, within the whole OpenCV ecosystem that everything expects BGR. So for example, if I were to have a RG, if I were to do something in here and convert it to RGB or gray, or excuse me, RGB, um, and I do IM show, IM show is basically going to expect it to be in BGR format. The same with IM write, which is how you write out an image to a file. Um, and so like if I were to convert those and then use it within its own ecosystem, it within say I converted this to BGR and then I show that BGR image, it comes out or that RGB image, it show, comes out looking B, like a BGR rather than like the normal image. Um, so that's my one little caveat is that everything within the, the, the CV2 ecosystem kind of expects those like BGR um, formats when it has those, those the three channels of, B, of red, green, and blue. Um, and it's just OpenCV happens to order it BGR. Um, now, if you're gonna go do something in OpenCV and then use another package that's popular like Pillow to do something, that's when you wanna use those conversions to convert it to like an RGB. So that way in Pillow, it knows how to use it correctly um, and is not just, uh, it's not reading stuff as a BGR in that other package. So that's kind of the caveat there, but converting it to a grayscale image basically removes all the other, you know, the other two channels of the, the zero to 255 um, pixel values that kind of make up and show everything as color. Um, it just basically removes those two and it still will show up just fine. Um, and so to do that, we have to use the uh, basically an enumeration value um, within the CV2 package dot, so CV2 dot color. Um, and if I do CV2 dot, and I just type in color, and I do an underscore, you start to see here, here's a bunch of different color codes that you can use, um, well, as long as it says color, a bunch of different common color codes that you can use. They've got YUV, they've got BGR to other different things, they've got all sorts of different, you know, BGR color schemes. The one that we're going to look for, if I'm gonna type it in is BGR2 and then color, or gray. And if, I, if you type that in, you'll see that there is a color code there. And this happens, this whole combination of this function will return a value, another image value. And that is gonna be our gray image. So I'm just gonna say something like gray is equal to this. So now if I go ahead and I show this, and I'll say gray and I'll pass this to it. And then just, you know, to make sure everything gets cleaned up properly, we'll say cv2 dot destroy all windows. And that'll just clean everything up for us. So if I go ahead and I run this, what you'll see is the first image that pops up, it's in that RGB, it looks RGB, right? Um, and that's because of how OpenCV uh, works internally and shows everything. And you can see that it's our original image because the orange is up there in the title, which we put right there. So now when I hit a key on my keyboard, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go through and convert this image to grayscale, and then we're going to reshow it. So if I pull this up here and I hit a key on my keyboard, just like that, you'll see that there we have a gray image of the previous image that we have. And how do I know that that, you know, for sure that's a gray image, it's not just RGB with three different values that looks makes it look gray or something weird. What you can do is we can say print, and I'm gonna say, I put this in the F string so we can all see which ones is which. I'm gonna say I am image.shape, and this will just print out basically the shape, like you know, the width, the height, and how many channels that our image has. 
and then I'm gonna do our gray one. And then we'll go ahead and we'll compare this. So just like that, I'll go ahead and rerun this. We'll have to go through and click uh, through the original image. So I hit a key on my keyboard. Now we have our gray image. Now I hit another key, everything goes away. Boom, just like that. And we get this printout that says image.shape returns a tuple of the height, width, and the channel. Whereas the image.gray, when we do shape, returns just a height and a width. So right there, we know that this is only one channel. It means this is basically a gray, this is a grayscale image. Um, and we can simply convert all of our images with OpenCV by passing, using this CVT color function and saying BGR to gray. Now, if you happen to have converted this to something else like RGB, you'll wanna look for something like color RGB to gray. Um, so that way it can do the correct combination within OpenCV to correctly um, convert it to our grayscale image. But if you're just right out the gate, going to read in an image and then convert it, this is exactly how you would do it, um, is you'd read it in and then you'd call this CV2 color. So I hope this answered your question. If you have any other questions regarding this, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any other additional questions about any other um, different topics, or you're trying to accomplish something that you uh, haven't been able to, I should have below in the description a link to a Google form where you can go ahead and fill that out. Um, and that helps me one, know what people are curious about and what they're trying to um, accomplish on their programming journey or the struggles that they're having on the topics that they're learning. And I can do my best to help you answer those. So uh, go ahead, fill that out um, or, leave a, or leave a comment in the comments section below. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. And until next time, keep on programming.